Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is Engineer Raymart of Engineer Prof PH. In today's video, we are going to discuss about plane trigonometry. Welcome back guys here sa channel ko. So it's been such a long time since nakapag-upload ako ng video due to busy schedule. So eto na guys, meron tayong time para makapag uh, bigay sa inyo again ng tutorial video. So ito guys, this is actually a continuation of the previous discussion which is the uh, derivation of uh, sine law and cosine law in trigonometry. And that video is in connection sa aming uh, uh, previous event sa page which is called uh, enrichment program series. So, dun sa enrichment program series, tinuturo namin guys yung mga fundamentals of mathematics in preparation ng mga engineering students sa college. Okay, so simulan natin to guys, no? Simulan natin yung pag-discuss ng plane trigonometry. Ang ating topic for today will focus more on the application of plane trigonometry. So, kung paano natin siya i-apply sa mga problem, as well as, itong mga problem na ito guys, these are past board exam problems. Okay? So, first problem, we have a man finds the angle of elevation of the top of a tower to be 40 degrees. He walks 95 meters near the tower and finds its angle of elevation to be 75 degrees. What is the height of the tower? Okay, binigyan tayo ng choices. So, uh, assuming that this is a board exam problem, so meron tayong choices, so multiple choice siya. So, for A, we have 102.8 meters. For B, 123.5 meters. For C, we have here 78.9 meters. And for D, we have 152.3 meters. So, to begin your problem solving, kailangan natin i-illustrate yung figure. So, assuming that this is the tower, so we have here a man... So, yung man, let's say, nandito siya. Just a point here. That's the man. So, yung angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 40 degrees. So, pag sinabi natin, guys, na angle of elevation, this is an angle which is measured above the horizontal. Okay? So, if this is the horizontal here, yung ground, where inandun yung tower, so that is actually 40 degrees. Okay? So, this man here, this man here actually uh, walked 95 meters nearer the tower. So, naglakad siya guys ng 95 meters papunta rito. Okay, naglakad siya papunta here ng 95 meters. So, this is 95 meters. And the angle of elevation of course tataas yun kasi lumapit siya doon sa tower. Okay. So, the new angle of elevation after walking 95 meters nearer the tower, that is now 75 degrees. Okay, so this is 75 degrees. So, assuming na nag-intersect uh, sila doon sa taas, the top of the tower, and this is uh, at right angles here sa ground. So, we have formed here two right triangles. No, So, you have the uh, triangle which is... Uh, ang angle niya is 40 degrees and yung isang right triangle, ang angle niya is 75 degrees. Okay, i-redraw natin yung dalawang triangle. And in this problem, ang hinahanap natin is the height of the tower. So, what is the height of the tower H? So, since this is 95 meters, let's say, let's assume that this is distance X since hindi siya known. So, unknown siya. So, etong distance na to is 95 plus x and then yung h natin is the height so that's the first triangle and then the second triangle will be the triangle wherein yung ating angle of elevation is 75 degrees so this angle here is 75 degrees and this is h and of course etong ating uh, side here is just x okay so those are the two triangles that we have formed are uh, using this figure. Okay, so using these two triangles, we can actually form two equations. Now, so from this first triangle, we can say that tangent 40, okay, recalling tangent, so tangent is actually 
opposite over adjacent. Now, if 40 is the angle, ang opposite side niya is H. So, opposite H over adjacent, which is 95 meters plus X. And from the second uh, triangle, that is tangent 75 degrees equals, of course, tangent yung gagamitin natin, guys, since given yung opposite and adjacent part. Okay, so tangent 75, we have here opposite. Opposite niya is H and yung adjacent niya is X. So yung hinahanap natin, guys, is H, which is the height of the tower. So we need to eliminate the X variable here using substitution. Okay, so from the second equation here, no? Second equation, first equation. So from the second equation, we can say that x is just equal to h over tangent 75 degrees. Okay, kuin lang natin si uh, x in terms of h, then si x is substitute lang natin siya guys dito sa ating first equation. Then Boom, we have H. Okay, so we have here tangent 40 is equal to H all over 95 plus X, which is H over tangent 75 degrees. Ayan, so simplify lang natin guys to get H. Now here, you can actually use the calculator. Okay, shift solve lang natin kung nasa board exam tayo. But uh, if you are going to do this manually, gagamitan natin siya guys ng algebra. Okay, multiply natin both sides ng 95 plus H over tangent 75 degrees. So, tangent 40 degrees, you have here times 95 plus H over tangent 75 degrees and we have here equals H. Okay? So, i-ano lang natin guys, no? i-isolate uh, natin si H. Okay, multiply natin to guys, 95 tangent 40 degrees. Okay? So, plus, we have here tangent 40 degrees all over tangent 75 degrees times H is equal to H. So, that is equal to H minus. Okay, subtract natin itong expression sa left side para mawala siya dun. So, magiging H minus tangent 40 degrees all over tangent 75 degrees times H. Then, of course, si H ay if a factor out natin. So, si H ay if a factor out natin magiging 95 tangent 40 degrees is equal to H times the quantity 1 minus tangent 40 degrees all over tangent 75 degrees. Then, of course, yung next natin gagawin is to divide both sides by this expression para ma-extract natin si H. Okay, so magiging H is equal to 95 tangent 40 degrees divided by 1 minus tangent 40 degrees all over tangent 75 degrees. And now we can actually use our calculator to solve this. So this becomes H equals, okay, open lang natin si CalQ. So that is 95, 95 tangent 40. So make sure that your calculator is in degrees mode, guys. No, So may D dito. So that is 95 tangent 40 all over 1 minus all over 1 minus tangent 40 over tangent 75. Okay, so equals lang natin guys na no? equals and we have the answer. So 102.8 meters. So the height of the tower is 102.8 meters. So from the choices that uh, is equal to letter A. Okay, letter A yung answer natin for this problem. So from this next problem guys, we have the angle of elevation of the top of tower B from the top of tower A is 36 degrees. And the angle of elevation of the top of tower A from the base of tower B is 48 degrees. So the two towers lie in the same horizontal plane if the height of tower B is 169 meters 
determine the height of tower A. Okay, so it's very clear here guys that the angle of elevation of top of tower B from top of tower A is 36 degrees. So yung angle of elevation natin is nang gagaling siya sa tower A. Ibig sabihin mas mataas yung tower B. So suppose that this is tower A. So the angle of elevation is from the top of tower A to the top of tower B. So ibig sabihin mas mataas si tower B. Kasi yung angle of elevation natin is from the top of tower A. So suppose that is tower A and this is tower B. So the angle of elevation is coming from here. Okay, so we have this. So mas mataas po si tower B kaysa kay tower A. So this is actually 36 degrees. Okay, so yung angle of elevation from the top of tower A and that is off the top of tower B. So that is 36 degrees. So that is measured above the horizontal. Okay, so taas po ng horizontal kapag uh, angle of elevation. That's why it is measured here. So that is 36 degrees. And the angle of elevation of the top of tower A to the base, okay, to the base of tower B is 48 degrees. Again, we will measure that above the horizontal since it is angle of elevation. So, this is 48 degrees. So, the two towers lie in the same horizontal plane. So, if the height of tower B is 169, so this uh, length here, okay, this length here is 169 meters and we are required to determine the height of tower A so that is H so using this figure guys we can actually form again two right triangles okay so if we just extend this line here okay, extend lang natin to guys so since this is 169 guys now this whole uh, height of B here is 169 and this is actually equal to H here. So this remaining height here is 169 minus H. Okay. So we can actually form two triangles here. We have uh, a right triangle here at the top. So that is yung angle natin 36 degrees and we have here 169 minus h and of course itong unknown natin guys na distance here we can say that that is x okay so this is x here of course at the bottom at the ground this is also x here so we have formed here two right triangles so this is x here and another right triangle we have this redraw lang natin so using these two triangles here we can actually get the relationship between these uh, variables. So using guys this first triangle here, we have tangent 36 degrees is equal to, so that is opposite which is 169 minus h all over adjacent which is x. So first equation. And for the second equation we have here tangent 48 degrees is equal to opposite which is h and adjacent all over adjacent which is x so we have here second equation so we will get uh, the height of tower a h by using substitution so from equation 2 we can say that x is just equal to h all over tangent 48 degrees so, substitute lang natin guys itong value ni x dito sa first equation and of course solve natin si h using algebra. So, we have here tangent 36 degrees is equal to 169 minus h, okay, from the first equation all over x which is h, h over tangent 48 degrees. Again guys, we perform algebra. So, tangent, we have here tangent 36 degrees all over tangent 
48 degrees times h. Okay? Multiply natin both sides by this expression here. Then we have here 169 minus h. Okay, so after that, isolate lang natin yung mga variables, combine like terms, and extract for the value of h. So, which is the height of tower A. Okay, so this becomes tangent 36 degrees all over tangent 48 degrees h plus we have here h. Okay, isolate natin si h. And we have here equals 169. And then the next step that we're going to do is to factor out this expression here. No? So we have here h times the quantity tangent 36 degrees all over tangent 48 degrees plus 1 is equal to 169 meters. Then divide natin both sides by this expression here, yung coefficient ni h para ma-extract natin si h. So, this becomes h is equal to 169 all over tangent 36 degrees all over tangent 48 degrees plus 1. And use your calculator to solve the values. Okay, so we have here 169. We have here 169 all over we have here tangent 36 Over, we have here tangent 48. And we have plus 1. So the value for the height of tower A is actually 102 point. Okay, that is 2. So H is 102.2 meters. So this is the final answer for the second problem. So that is letter C. Ayan. So we have our second problem. So let's proceed to our next problem. Here we go guys to our last problem. So a pole casts a shadow 15 meters long when the angle of elevation of the sun is 61 degrees. If the pole is leaned 15 degrees from the vertical directly towards the sun, determine the length of the pole. Okay, so... Uh, first natin guys na gagawin is to draw the figure. Of course, we have here the pole. And it is leaned 15 degrees from the vertical. And yung angle of elevation of the sun. So, yung angle of elevation of the sun uh, is actually equal to 61 degrees. So, uh, the pole cast a shadow. So, if this is the sun here. So, the pole cast a shadow which is 15 meters. Okay, so this is 15 meters here. And we have uh, the angle of elevation of the sun is uh, 61 degrees. And we have here the pole is leaned uh, 15 degrees from the vertical. So, if draw a vertical line here. So, the pole is leaned 15. Okay, it is leaned 15 degrees. Uh, from the vertical Okay, so ang hinahanap natin dito guys is the length of the pole So here guys, we can actually get the length of the pole using sine law But we don't have an angle opposite to 15 meters Okay, so that is L all over sine 61 degrees Yung angle opposite kay uh, length L So that is L over So this is actually our triangle here so that is L and this is 61 degrees and this is 15 meters. Okay, so L over sine 61 degrees, ang opposite angle niya, is equal to 15 meters all over sine. Yung angle opposite to 15 pero unknown siya dito guys. So this is let's say theta. So sine theta. So this is actually a triangle here guys. So, if this is 15 degrees, so this is 90 here. So, this is 90 plus 15. So, this whole angle here is actually 90, 90 degrees plus 15 which is 105 degrees. 
And since this is actually a uh, uh, triangle, so the sum of these interior angles is 180. So theta plus 105 plus 61 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, we have here that is 180 degrees minus 105 degrees minus 61 degrees. So we have 180 minus 105 minus 61. So if you press equals here, we have uh, theta as So if you press equals, we have theta as 14 degrees. So this is actually equal to 15 meters over sine 14 degrees. So L over sine 61 degrees is equal to 15 meters over sine 14 degrees or we can say that L is equal to 15 meters over sine 14 degrees. And you just multiply sine 61 degrees both sides. So this becomes sine 61 degrees. So therefore, we have the length of the pole as. So that is 15 all over sine 14 degrees. And that is multiplied by sine 61 so times sine 61 degrees so we have the length of the pole as 54.23 meters so this is 54.23 meters and that is letter we have here letter d that's it for today's video guys and i hope that you have learned from this video. So if you have comments and suggestions guys, kung meron kayong mga suggested topics sa mga future videos natin, you can actually message me or you can comment it down here on this video. Salamat guys sa panonood ng video na to and thank you for your support on my channel and on my Facebook page. God bless you guys and I hope you stay safe out there. Bye-bye.